Good morning, and welcome to my first what I ate in a day. What I ate in a day. I thought it would be fun to jump onto the what I ate in a day bandwagon because I have been traveling a lot uh, lately abroad and I thought it would be cool to show you one of the exciting things I'm eating now. For those of you who've been following uh, Will Travel for Vegan Food for a while, you know I post a lot of food pictures about all the cool things I'm eating, but it could be fun to do these videos as well for at least one day a week. You can see what I'm having when I go out to eat and if I'm ever preparing my own food, which is not <laughs> very often. So be ready for these weekly what I ate in a day videos to be primarily a food from dining out. This this morning, starting my day with some fruit that I picked up at a market here in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. I arrived here just a day ago from Bali. Uh, lots of Bali footage to come, by the way. I'm so excited to share with you my time in Bali. I'm just getting started on today. It's a little after 10.30 in the morning. And this is quite late for me to start my day, but I spent the morning Skyping with my family. They just were finishing their Thanksgiving, completely vegan <laughs> Thanksgiving celebration. And so I was Skyping with them about their day. So now for a Friday morning uh, beginning, I was at a Jaya supermarket yesterday or last night, which was, came at the recommendation from some Instagram friends. Thank you so much. They're known to carry some vegan items, but I was drawn to this guy. This is Soursop. I first was introduced to Soursop when I spent the summer on the Big Island of Hawaii. My friend Zoe from Lusty Vegan, uh, the Lusty Vegan cookbook, she uh, introduced me to this. Her and her mom had had it as a dessert after dinner one night at their house and I completely fell in love with it. And I also have a Malaysian grown mango. It is called Chokanan? Chokanan mango? Grown in Malaysia and I'm a big mango fan. Let's start with the soursop. I'm just gonna cut into it. I don't actually remember how you open these things, so I'm just going to cut in. It's pretty crazy looking inside. Oh my gosh, I wish you could smell it. It smells so good. I know it looks a little funny, but it is so good. So this uh, is fibrous, and they actually have the seeds inside here that you can pull out. And then the innards is just uh, a very uh, moist, <laughs> fibrous uh, inner side, and you just eat it. Mm. Oh my god. I swear to you. Ooh, it's sweet. It tastes like a watermelon Jolly Rancher. I swear, whoever invented Jolly Ranchers must have used this fruit to inspire. Uh, the, the flavor because it's amazing. Mm. I haven't had this in a couple of years and it tastes so good right now. Oh my gosh. I know it doesn't look that good but <laughs> it's delicious and they must be in season here right now because I saw a bunch of them at the store yesterday and the seeds just kind of pop out. <laughs> if any of you have an issue with texture of things, you might not might not be a fan of this because it's um it's almost like a gelat not gelatinous but a fibrous um pudding <laughs> i don't know it's really hard to describe but if you can ever get your hands on our sap i highly recommend it even just for the experience of trying it um and it really it's squishy it just pulls apart it's very squishy anyhow i'm going to have probably about half of this because they're quite potent in a good way. I'm also going to have some of this mango. Mmm, mango. This one probably could have been good to sit for another day or two, but it'll be okay. And check out my view. I am staying in an Airbnb here in Kuala Lumpur, and that is the city down there. All right, I'm gonna finish my uh, fruity breakfasty snack, and then we're gonna head to a vegan cafe so that I can do some work and have some more food. <laughs>
So I am having lunch at LN Fortunate Coffee, which is a completely vegan cafe and coffee shop. And I got the noodle soup, which is a miso soup with soba noodles. This place is really cool too. They have um, a nice variety on the menu and you can get waffles with chocolate syrup and ice cream and affogato. And they have all uh, house-made coffees and pour overs and free Wi-Fi. And it's a beautiful place too. I like this one. So this is what I'm gonna have for lunch. Okay, so I am still at LN Fortunate Coffee in Kuala Lumpur. And I've started doing some video editing, so I'm sitting here for a minute to do some work. And I thought I would try their affogato because they're so well known for their amazing coffee. And their ice cream is all cashew based. I believe it's house made. So I'm really jazzed. Whenever I see a vegan affogato on a menu, I must try it. It's so amazing. Affogato is basically a scoop of ice cream with a shot of espresso over top. And theirs looks particularly good. Check it out. So we've got the ice cream in there. And this is a piece of uh, biscotti with pistachio. And this is the shot of espresso. Oh yeah, that's good stuff. I think it's coffee ice cream, which would make sense. So yeah, you just you eat the ice cream, um, scoop it out, and then you can first sip whatever remains. Uh, probably the best way to get your fix of coffee <laughs> is pairing it with ice cream. It is, what time is it? It's 3.02 p.m. And I am now at my next uh, coffee shop. I tend to do coffee shop hopping when I'm around because I work online and it's nice to get out of the places that I'm staying and it's my way of being able to see a little bit of where I am on the days that I'm doing work stuff. Uh, so I'm at RGB Coffee House and Bean Hive. I love this place. I was here almost five or six hours yesterday working on one video, the road trip video from Melbourne to Sydney. And I loved it because they have plenty of vegan food options, really good stuff, great coffee, lattes. Um, the Wi-Fi is pretty good. And uh, it's just got a really nice uh, energy about it. It's beautiful. This is the kind of open air room that I'm in now. And then the over there through that door is um, an air conditioned room. Well, the people here are so nice, the people that work here. Um, and so I thought I would come for a couple of hours before I find another place to have dinner. And I just got a soy flat white. I've become obsessed with flat whites since uh, around New Zealand, Australia. So I'm gonna enjoy my flat white, no sugar added, <laughs> and uh, do some more video editing. Um, oh, and I did wanna show you, I picked up a couple of things. I don't know if I'm gonna eat them today or uh, later, so I wanted to show them to you since I think I'm only gonna be doing the what I ate in a day uh, once a week. But I wanted you to see this stuff. I picked it up from the previous place, the LN Fortunate Coffee Shop. This is a uh, one of their house-made rolls. They use their coffee, they infuse the coffee into the dough, and then there's also chocolate chips in there as well. I might actually open this now and just try it because it looks so good. And then I also picked up one of their um, mini loaves of uh, focaccia. Um, it's an olive focaccia bread and I am a sucker for anything with olives and it looks so good. And one of the things that, that they are known for um, in that shop and that they post about all the time and are really proud of is their sourdough 
their bread making processes because they use a traditional process that it's like 14 to 18 hours to make their breads. It's so squishy. You know what, I'm just gonna open this now. This looks so good. I'm gonna move you over here so that the lighting is better. Oh my goodness, look at how amazing this looks. Let's see how, oh it's so squishy. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Coffee infused bread with chocolate chips. Brilliant. Brilliant. I think I'm gonna eat this chunk now with my uh, soy flat white and then get to work. Uh, yeah, so just a quick update that it is now 4.15 and I uh, totally finished that uh, coffee infused chocolate chip roll thing from LN Fortunate Coffee House. Um, still doing work, still sitting at um, RGB Coffee House in Bean Hive, but just thought that I should come clean on eating that, uh, that roll. It is quarter after 7 p.m. I'm in a very busy uh, mall, Friday night, so yeah. Um, and I just went to a place called Simple Life Vegetarian, um, and I got a ramen soup and a ham roll. And the ham roll did come with cheese, so I just had to ask for no cheese on that one. I'm not a big fan of malls, but I was looking for this book. Sapiens. I've been wanting to read it for a while, so I stopped by to pick up a copy um, because I'll have some longer flights coming up toward the end of my trip here. We got some tofu and uh, like eggplant, some beans, and uh, a noodle here. Some other veggies. Uh, looks like some tempeh. This bra. It's pretty spicy. It wasn't labeled as spicy, but it's pretty spicy. By the way, this all this meal costs 27 ringgit, which uh, equates to about six U.S. dollars. So I'm gonna just came outside of the KLCC mall, um, planning to head back to uh, my Airbnb. And look, water show happening. And look at the towers. Look how beautiful they are at night. Hi. Can't see you. Hang on. Ah, there we go. I am back at my Airbnb in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. And I'm definitely done eating for the day, but before I let you go, I wanted to try the vegan focaccia, olive focaccia bread because I'm really excited about it and I just want you to know if it's as good as I'm hoping it is. <laughs> so, let's do this. I'm just going to try a little bit because I'm not, not hungry. Ugh, there's a little olive. Mmm, oh my god. It's really good. It's like buttery. Mmm. Mmm. That's good. I'm definitely gonna have some of that for breakfast tomorrow because tomorrow I'm gonna get up early and I'm gonna go check out the Batu Caves, uh, which is one of the kind of touristy things to do here, but um, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> also, I wanted to make a few notes about the place I had dinner. It was kind of loud and I felt awkward filming in the mall, um, but it's completely uh, non-GMO, organic, uh, fully vegetarian, mostly vegan place. I really liked it a lot. I've been there twice, and the first time it was okay. This time, I think I ordered better, and so it was good. Um, and at the place I had uh, the lunch earlier today, I ended up chatting with the owner a little bit before I left. Uh, super, super nice guy. Um, and he was explaining that he uh, cured himself. He didn't say what he was suffering from, but he had cured himself of whatever ailment he had uh, by going fully plant-based, and so he wanted to share that with everyone else. And I don't know if you're getting the 
air conditioning unit is right above the camera and I'm realizing that it might be messing up the audio. Hopefully not. Uh, I won't know until watching this back. Um, but anyhow, the owner of uh, FN, FL, um, Fortune Coffee House, um, really nice and he wanted to share um, healthful foods so he started this restaurant and it's been around for just over a year so I definitely recommend checking it out if you're ever in Kuala Lumpur. Uh, thank you so much for watching my first what I ate in a day. I hope that you liked it. If you did like it and want to see more videos like this, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below so that I know you want more what I ate today videos. And if you feel like it, subscribe to my channel for weekly travel videos focused on vegan food finds and restaurant reviews. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, please remember to eat well and travel often.